Hello world, I'm Stephanie Jennifer, certified Zen Tango teacher based in Singapore and artist extraordinaire and here today with another gemstone tutorial. And uh, today we're going to draw a moonstone gemstone which are really beautiful pastel coloured gemstone. And again as always, I'm using Prismacolored coloured pencils, currently using non-photo blue PC919. Moving on to a darker blue, it's Periwinkle PC1025. You'll also notice that I'm using a lot of up, down, or as we call them, linear strokes to colour in the gemstone. This is to capture the shininess of the moonstone. Moving on to lighter colours, we're using Sky Blue Light PC1086. And then we're going to add a very light yellow tone. We're using Jasmine PC1012. And then we're going to add some purples, starting with Lilac PC956. And then we're going to add Lavender PC934. Then we're moving back to Sky Blue... Oops! <laughs> that Sky Blue Light PC1086. Uh, <laughs> Colour pencils are very pesky here and they like to roll away from you. Then we're using Lavender PC934 to add some very very minor details. Moving back to non-photo blue PC919, we're going to boost the colours of the gemstone. We're about halfway through this video tutorial and if you've watched it till so far, you're probably enjoying it. So don't forget to click the thumbs up button to let me know. Then we're back with Sky Blue Light PC1086 and now we're just going to press a little harder on uh, these colour pencils just to blend all the very muted colours together. Doing the same with White PC938 and in just a while we're going to add a bit more of the Jasmine Yellow and the Lavender Purple just to add some tones to the Moonstone. And uh, 
I wanted to add a shadow to this beautiful moonstone but I didn't want it to look too harsh. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to use the lavender coloured pencil and uh, we're going to add it with lilac and we're going to use those colours as the base colours for the shadow. Then we're going to make the edge of the shadow a little darker by adding periwinkle. Then we're going to use indigo blue PC901 to darken the entire shadow. So what we're actually going to do now is we're going to use the complementary colour of blue which is orange and uh, we're going to darken the entire shadow. So I'm currently using Pumpkin Orange PC1032. So I'm just going to darken the edges of the moonstone and then blend everything out nicely. And uh, we're going to add a highlight with Uniball's Signal Broad White Pen. And that's my tutorial for how to draw a moonstone. Leave me a comment letting me know what other gemstones you'd like to learn to draw and I might just make a tutorial of it. But I do hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you think I've earned it, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and keep tangling!